I've got a minute. I just need the loo. You just been, haven't you? I'm nervous, aren't I? You know, there's going to be cops swarming all over that factory today. Give over. They won't be swarming. Anyway, you've done that wrong, have you? Oh, I'm your alibi, aren't I? Bound to question me. Yeah? Routine questions. It's not the Spanish Inquisition, is it? Well, what if you've left him a clue or somewhere? Like what? Anyway, we didn't. We were careful. You know, please, today, all we need is a little bit of fluff and they can nail somebody. Karen, I don't even know why you're talking like this. You're not supposed to know about the robbery. Look, just put it out here, will you? We'll talk about something else, all right? We, uh, had a pretty good night last night, didn't we? Was that right? Give over. You were insatiable. <sighs> don't flatter yourself. I don't have to. I've well, got you to do it for me. What's happened here? Well, what do you think? Have we been burgled? You should join your boyfriend in the police with your powers of deduction. Oh, Mr Baldwin, that's terrible. Hey, we better not touch anything, had we? Might be covered in fingerprints. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Nobody touch anything. In fact, you might as well all go home. Oh, not you, though, Harry. I want you to make sure nobody else comes in. I'm going to check the stock room. We'll get paid, though, won't we? Look, just go, will you? All right, come on now, ladies. You heard what Mr Baldwin said. You can't just lay us off. It's not our fault. Right, anyone mind telling me what's going on here? Why aren't you on your machines? We've just been laid off, haven't we? The place has been burgled. No. You're kidding, aren't you? <gasps> Wally, you made me jump. I woke up and you weren't there. I began to think that last night was all a dream. Yeah, well, it was a dream in a way. Like a fairy tale. And now you're dashing off like Cinderella. Well, I've got a bit work in half an hour. I was going to leave you a note. Well, I mean, you can't go without a proper breakfast. And anyway, orange juice needs champagne in it for a start. Look, Wally, listen. It's a really busy day today. There's loads of race meetings on. Why don't you phone in sick? I can't do that. Well, I mean, we could uh, laze around the pool for a bit and then uh, jump in the car, go and do a bit of shopping. Go on, live dangerously. Well, when you put it like that... I was wondering if Ben could play with Josh for a couple of hours. Yeah, sure, I'll put the kettle on. Actually, I was hoping I could leave him with you. You want me to look after him? Well, I should keep saying what a great nanny you are. I'm not sure he'd like me looking after anybody else's child when I'm supposed to be looking after Josh. Well, I don't see why. I've done it for him loads of times. We're really good friends, you know. Please, it'd be no trouble. Can't his dad look after him? Yeah. Me and his dad are having a few problems at the moment. Please, Claire, it'd just be for a couple of hours. I've got a meeting with my superintendent about my promotion. If I don't go, I... I'm sorry, I don't mean to put on you. Go on, then. <laughs> we'll be company for each other. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Hey. Come on, then. What we lost, Mike? Everything. Well, all the stock, anyway. Not the stuff we just had delivered at all. Mm -hmm. That only came yesterday, didn't it? Well, material is the easiest thing to take. Oh, do you think so? Yeah. There wasn't any cash. Machines are too heavy. So, stock's the easiest option. Yeah, well, they want mm. stringing up. And I'll do it myself when I get my hands on them. You know, we needed that material. Got an order to get out. Well, there won't be anyone working today. Order some more, so we can set up again as quickly as possible. Well, I'll take it you phone the cops, Mike. Yeah, on the way. So have you got any idea how they got in? Yeah, through the loading bay. Ah, but what I don't understand is, why didn't the alarm go off? I don't know. Perhaps it did and no-one heard it. No, it'd wait the street, that alarm. Mr Baldwin? Yeah, that's me. I'm Detective Sergeant Dunn. This is my colleague, DC Lowe. Nice to meet you. This is so me. Oh, yes, work hard and play hard. That's my motto. Oh, I don't know about the first one. <laughs> Oh, will you listen to me? You must think I'm awful. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Wally. Yeah? Listen to me. What? What I said last night about wanting to know where I stand... Yeah? It's just... Look, I have had some lousy experiences in the past. With men who've got money and with men who haven't. They both can treat you like dirt. Well, not me, I promise you. I'm not a gold digger, Wally. Hmm? I do really like you. Tracy. I am under no illusions at all. I mean, you wouldn't look at me twice if I was skint. Yes, I would. No, look, I'm not condemning you for it. You are trying to achieve a certain lifestyle. We all are, if we're honest, but only the lucky few can afford it. Yeah, well, I'm also attracted to men who are kind. Oh. Considerate. Oh. And romantic, like you. Well, flattery will get you everywhere. Oh. <laughs> 
Hello? Listen, I'm going after the I'll see you in there. Where are you? I'm at a friend's house. A special friend, or...? Just an ordinary friend. What do you mean? Well, you, you didn't come home last night. Look, are you checking up on me? Probably to see if you're still alive. Look, I'm sorry, I should've rang you, I'm sorry. Oof, well, are you coming home tonight? <laughs> Only we, we do still charge, you know, if we don't give us 24 hours. Come on in, the walk! Mum, I'll ring you, OK? Bye. Who was the last person to leave the premises last night? Ah, oh, that was me. In fact, we all left together, didn't we? We went across the street for a pint. And what time was this, approximately? Uh, about quarter past six. And there was nobody else in the building when you left? No. Although I did come back to pick up my wallet. I'd left it behind. And what time was this? Ten o'clock, near enough. And did you notice anything suspicious, any signs of a disturbance? Well, I did, actually. For the kick-off, the alarm wasn't set. Yeah, but I set that when we left, didn't I? I mean, you saw us do it. Yeah, so did I. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't on when I came back in. See, I thought maybe Mr Baldwin had been back. Had you? No. So, it was on at 6.15 and off at 10. Did you put it back on before you left? I'm sure I did. Oh, come on, it's obvious what happened. You forgot to turn it back on when you came back. No, look, I'd never leave the building without checking the alarm. Did you notice anything else suspicious while you were here? Well, I thought I heard a noise, but it turned out to be a cat. How did it get in? No idea. Why didn't it set off the alarm? The burglars let it in. They were doing the place over and you were just standing there. I hope you're not suggesting I knew something about it, that I was involved in some way. I'm suggesting you're incompetent, and I'm telling you, you've got the sack. Hey, Mike, calm down, will you? There's no point taking it out now, is there? You realise what this means, don't you? Bang goes my insurance claim. Look, there was nobody here, I'm sure of it, and I'm sure I set that alarm before I left. Well, I don't believe you. Hey, Mike, this isn't getting us anywhere, is it? I'm about through, anyway. The next step is to see what scene of crimes turn up. Spot of blood, footprints. Are you ready, Paul? Could I just ask you where you were last night, Mr Baldwin? Golf club. Dinner in the clubhouse afterwards. And you, Mr Carter? I was at home with Karen. Uh, we uh, lived together. Right, well, that it. Time being. <laughs> Is Ashley in? No, have you tried the shop? Uh, yeah, but Boris said he'd gone off on his dinner. All oh, right. Or maybe he's in the pub or the cafe. Is that Ben? What's he, what's he doing here? Your wife asked me to have him for a few hours. She had no right. She had an urgent meeting to go to. I bet she did. How about a kiss for Daddy? Mm. You could have stayed with me. I did suggest it. What did she say? I think you should be having this conversation with her. Don't worry, I will. Meanwhile, I'll, I'll take him back to my place. I'm sorry, I can't let you do that. He's my son. And your wife left him in my care. I can't let anyone take him. No, you're right. Sandra, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a day off. We might as well make the most of it. It's the only reason I sweated over that flaming machine, Mummy. I'm sure we'll still get paid. Bank on it. Better. This is just like that business with the takings all over again. I'm being wrongly accused. See, it'll all come out here, Wash. Have I got a dishonest face, is that it? Not in this world. You're honest as a day as long, you are. So why do I keep getting accused of things I haven't done? It was you who switched the alarm off, wasn't hey, it? Keep your voice down, will you? Was one it? Yeah. And now Harry's got to carry the can. Well, that's good, isn't it? Keeps the spotlight off me. He has lost his job. Yeah, and he'll get it back when we take over the factory. Look, we'll give him a pay rise if it makes you feel any better. Them coppers put the fear of God in me. I'm sure they know that we're up to something. Give over. They were as nice as pie. What's your problem? You're too cocky by half, Joe. And if you're not careful, you're going to mess up. All right, just change the subject. Mike's here. I've been talking to Dan. I think it's an inside job. Hello, Archie. Hello, Deidre. Uh, how's Blanche doing? Oh, her sister's on the mend. With a bit of luck, she should be home soon. Mm. <laughs> Although what she'll find when she gets here, I dread to think. What, what do you mean? I think Wally's too time, you know. No. <laughs> Wait till you find out who with. God, I just hope it's my suspicious mind. Who? Tracy. J oh, come on. Wally's old enough to be a, well, a, a grandfather. Well, I, I could be wrong, but when I rang Tracy today to find out why she didn't come home last night, she was, she was very cagey and 
I thought I heard a man's voice in the background. Now, I do hope I'm wrong. Oh, this is awful, I mean. <laughs> Poor Blanche. I just wish there was some way I could find out for sure. Well, you'll have to confront her. Oh, yeah, and she'll come out with it. Well, well, there is another way. Oh? Well, uh, he won a prize in the tea dance raffle the other week. Well, just a bottle of sherry, only he didn't stay around to collect it. Now, uh, I could always drop it off at the house, and uh, you could come with me. When? Let's do it. Come on. You don't really think it was Ali, do you? No, he's incompetent, but he's not a criminal. No, when I said it was an inside job, I mean it, it wasn't kids. So, who do you think it was, then? Someone who knew he had a stock room full of material. <laughs> well, that narrows it down a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Why do you think it was me? No, of course I don't think it was you. Why would you want to go and nick a load of our gear? Well, I can't believe it ain't crossed your mind, Mike, you know, given my track record, eh? Oh, come on, we're partners, we're beyond that. Good. The only people that knew we were going to have a delivery were the people who delivered it. Our track. Mm. So they deliver it, then they nick it back, then they sell it again, they get paid for it twice. But they're a reputable firm. No, no, hang on, Karen. Mike's got a point there. Well, I've cancelled the cheque we just sent them, so I think we should go and see them today. Yeah, fine by me. In fact, I'll drive you there if you like. It's nothing I can't handle. How can you take Mike to a factory that doesn't exist? Listen to me. You leave the clever stuff to me, all right? Hiya, Frank. Yes, yeah, me. Listen, what are you doing this afternoon? You'll never guess what she's gone and done now. The... Emma! She's gone to some meeting and dumped Ben at your house. A usual please, Fred. Get away. I'm telling you, I've just been round there. Well, what's Claire doing agreeing to that? I don't know, but he's there. Talk about rubbing my nose in it. Well, no answer. He must be out. Hang on a minute. I can hear voices. Listen. Mum? Oh. oh. Learning to drive is worse than doing exams. Have you got to know all of this? Well, the highway code is only part of driving theory. But there will be questions from it in the exam, road signs, stopping distances, the like. Have you read it then? Well, I have glanced at it. I plan to start studying properly tonight. Shall I test you? Well, as I say, I barely looked at it. Oh, go on, see how many road signs you know. Um, this one. Oncoming vehicles have priority. Yeah, what have you got there? Ah, letter from the Allotment Society. Oh, saying what? Complaining about the state of my allotment. Well, I'm not surprised you're never there. I was only there the other week. I wanted to dump the grain now, sir. Yes, but it's been the wrong time of the year, isn't it? A waste of time going it blaming winter. Look, I think you should pack it in. Let somebody younger take it over. Maybe you're right. It'd be a shame, though. I am fond of it. This one? National speed limit applies. Mm -hmm. uh, this one? No overtaking. That one? Warning of hazardous substances. Blimey, Roy. <laughs> like the rain, man. Who? So this is where you got to last night. Wally invited me round. Oh, Wally. The mystery man. Look, we haven't been seeing each other long. I was going to tell you. It's not me you should be telling, love. It's your gran. Oh, but you can't, can you? Because she's in Morecambe nursing her poor sister. Listen, well, listen, we, we never meant for this to happen. Things just sort of developed. I bet they did. Well, I'll say this for you, Wally. You've certainly got away with the ladies. I'm surprised you didn't try it on with me as well. You could have had the set. Look, I know you're going to think badly of me, dearie, but it's not how it looks. Well, I'm sorry. Which bit have I got wrong? You being a randy old beggar who's old enough to be her granddad, or you 
being a gold-digging little tart. You know nothing about our relationship. I don't want to know. The thought of it turns me stomach. But we weren't doing anything wrong. God, I knew you had loose morals, Tracy. But pinching your own grandmother's boyfriend, that is low. Aww. Even by your standards. He's not interested in me, Gran, not really. Oh, I bet he's not. Not with a 26-year-old chasing him round the swimming pool in a bikini. Look, nobody chased after anybody else. The attraction was mutual. I know what the attraction is, Tracy. You know nothing about it. She's using your Wally. You can see that, can't you? Well, some people might say I was using her. Look, I like Wally and he likes me. God, just look at her. No shame, no remorse. You brazen little hussy. Yeah? Well, if I'm one mam, it must be in the jeans. She can... No, don't hit me! Whoa, 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 whoa! Now, 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 please, Just pack it in. Oh, oh, stop it! Please! Ah, Number two, you said. Yep, that's right. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's Kelsey, Mike, I'm sure of it. Then why aren't there any cars parked outside? Shh, 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 shh. What? Can't hear anything. Exactly. It's supposed to be a thriving textile firm. Well, would you believe it? Uh, uh, Here we are. Come on. Uh, uh, I don't care how wealthy you are. I think you're a disgrace. Archie, we're a couple, a proper couple. He's even asked me to be his companion. John? Well, what are you doing back? The weather was rotten, so I came home. Who were all these people? Uh, oh, they, uh, they're, they're, the, they're friends of mine. Well, you'll have to ask them to leave. What would Mr Lockwood say? Um, excuse me for asking, but who are you? I'm Mrs Bannister. Who are you? Mrs Bannister? I thought you said your wife were dead. Who's dead? I'm not dead. This isn't your house, is it? Oh. Of course it isn't. It belongs to Mr. and Mrs. Lockwood. They're in Zambia. Oh, no. <laughs> we thought you lived here. We live in the cottage next door. I'm the housekeeper and he does the garden. What have you been saying to these people? Uh, excuse me, but I want the first pop here. You lying. Yeah, yeah, well, 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 look, look, I said you wouldn't give me a second glance if I was skint. You can't! Well, Tolly, it was just a joke. I just took it too far. It was only while the Lockwoods were away. You creep! Oh, oh. You come near my family again, and you're a dead man. Oh, you hear? Don't worry. He's a dead man anyway. No. Looks like this is the only entrance. And this is definitely the address. They haven't moved. The only address I've got, Mike. Well, where are they? I don't know what I say. I mean, I was on the phone with them yesterday. Manufacture wool, do they? Well, they pulled it over our eyes. Go, be Jeff. Right, who are you? Security. Yeah. Looking for a firm called Artrek. There's supposed to be train out of this address. Well, I never heard of it. We run a factory. We think we're being ripped off. There was a textile firm working out of this unit. At least I think that's what they did. Well, I haven't seen anybody around for days. Well, what were they called, you know? I don't, actually. It was only a short-term let. Hey, I do remember the bloke who used to run the place, though. And what was his name? Well, I couldn't tell you. He was an Asian bloke. Be about your age. Little goatee beard on him. You thinking what I'm thinking? Can I come in? As long as you don't start shouting. Ben's asleep. Do you hate me that much? That you would sooner leave our son with a complete stranger rather than have me look after him? Claire's a qualified nanny. I'm his father. I'm the one that used to look after him every day. Now I'm not even allowed to see him. Well, it was short notice. I didn't know what to do. You could have picked up the phone. I would have come right round. I didn't want to. Obviously. But I knew it would start another row. You just accused me of dumping him on you when it suits me. So it's all right to dump him on a neighbour? Can you imagine how that felt for me when I went round there? I know our marriage might be over, but we're still parents. We still have to be responsible. Don't talk down to me. Or would you rather I have no say whatsoever in our son's upbringing? No, of course not. I want you to have access on... Access? 
Now, where did you get a word like access from? Been to see a lawyer, have we? No. But we'll have to soon, and so will you. So we can spend all our money deciding when I can have access to see my own son. Hang on. You're making out like I'm the unreasonable one and this mess has got nothing to do with you. I just want us to put our, our differences apart when we're deciding on what's best for Ben. Yeah, I agree with you. And if you hadn't come marching round here, I was going to ring you. To say what? I'm prepared to let you see Ben on a regular basis, every day if you like. Oh, I see. For an hour, but you've got to call me first. So, you're calling all the shots then, as usual? You started all this. I never wanted it to come to this, but it has. Let's take it or leave it. It's coming to summer when you're too flaming old from allotment. Yeah, but you've had a heart bypass. I suppose you're right. I better write to the council and tell them I don't want it anymore. Hey, what's this? I'm hanging up my spade, giving up the allotment. No, you love that allotment. Now, have you been down there? It's like the day of the flaming triffids. I haven't got the energy to sort it out. Oh, well, we could give you an hand tidying it up, couldn't we? Could we? Yeah, you and my Kurt could do with the exercise instead of sitting in here supping every night. Are you serious? Yeah, we'd enjoy it, wouldn't we? Yeah. Right, well, you're on. You can go down there as soon as you like. Oh, how can I be so stupid? Well, you weren't to know you were being conned, were you? And I still can't believe that scumbag's behind it. You heard what the security guard said. Yeah, but come on, mate. There's plenty of Asians with goatee beards, aren't there? Yeah, but they're not all in the textile trade, are they? And there's only one of them got a grudge against this. Trust me, that robbery is the work of Naveen Alain. Well, maybe you're right. I mean, I've got to admit, he weren't best chuffed when I sold our stock from his factory, was he? <laughs> that is the understatement of the decade. He was furious, and he's got his own back. Well, he thinks he has. I can't believe he'd stoop that long. I know he's behind it. And I'm damned if I'm gonna let him get away with it.